Well, hello, hello, mornings. My name is Catley, and welcome to day seven of our peaceful productivity series. And my tip for you today, I think you're going to love it, and it's to snooze. You heard me right. If we want to get more done, we need to rest. Now, that could mean taking a nap in the middle of the day. It could be going to bed earlier and getting a good night of sleep. But it could also mean rest in general. Are you getting enough rest? Are you well rested? Now, did you know that there are actually seven different kinds of rest? According to Dr. Sondra Dalton-Smith, who wrote a fantastic book called Sacred Rest, there are seven different kinds of rest. Now, we're most familiar with the idea of physical rest, and we need to get more of it, frankly. We also need mental rest. We need emotional rest. We need spiritual rest. We need creative rest. And we need social rest. And finally, we need sensory rest. Now, her book dives deep into what each one of these are. But the idea is, is that we don't always just need a nap. If you've been working really hard at some sort of deep thinking project, maybe you need to go for a walk. Maybe if you have been in the middle of networking with people at an event, maybe you need some social rest. If you've been under the bright lights and working on a big project with a bunch of people or teaching in front of a class, maybe you need some sensory rest. So as you go about your day-to-day, I want you to consider how you're feeling. Do you need rest? Do you need a nap? Do you need time away? What kind of rest do you need? Because that's going to help you get more done. If you step back, you can move forward even farther. That's why sporting events have timeouts. That's why God rested on the seventh day. He set a model for us that it is okay to rest, that it is in fact good to rest. So don't be afraid to take a nap today. Don't be afraid to take a time out and to get the rest that you need so that you can live a life of peaceful productivity. And if you've not had your three-minute morning, you are not too late. You are right on time, and it is coming up next. The first minute of the three-minute morning routine is to simply pray Psalm 143.8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I've put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Minute two of the three-minute morning is just to look at the calendar today. Plan a few of the most important things and pray through what God wants you to add or take away from your calendar today. And the third and final minute of the three-minute morning routine is simply to take 10 deep, slow breaths.
All right, you did it. That's the three-minute morning routine. Now, if you want to follow this up with the daily Bible reading from the daily check-in section of the Hello Mornings Academy or our daily prayer point, or you just want the accountability of checking in on our daily post and saying hello, we'd love to cheer you on. Now go have a great day.